Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at tatting. Now tatting is a form of lace making. It can be made with either a shuttle or a needle. My preferred tool is the shuttle and that's what I'm going to show you today. So tatting is made up of rings and chains. These little guys are called picots. We have decorative picots and we have functional picots which join our elements together. You can work the stitches with either two shuttles or you can have a shuttle and a ball of thread. And I'll explain that in detail a little bit later. Okay, so we're going to need at least two shuttles. Have a look around, you can get them on the internet as well as being available in some specialty craft stores. There's a couple of different types of shuttles and it will be a matter of just trying them to see which one you prefer. Now every shuttle will have either a post or a bobbin. They'll also have either a pick or a hook or it could just be blades. If you use a shuttle that only has the blades, you'll need a crochet hook as well. Now, I prefer to use shuttles with the pick, but I still prefer to use a crochet hook to make my joins. So it comes down to personal preference and just trying them out and seeing which ones you like. Moving on now to our threads. It's a good idea to buy cheap crochet cotton when you're first starting. You're going to waste a lot of thread learning your stitches and techniques. Threads can be expensive. So you don't want to be wasting your good stuff on learning. I keep cheap thread for when I'm wanting to experiment or learn a new technique and it's always handy to have. Often you can find cheap thread in a throw out bin at your craft store. Um, we can purchase better quality threads once we're confident with what we're doing and ready to move on. So I would suggest getting two different coloured threads in a size 10. This is your size number here in each ball. So using a size 10 as well as having it in two different colours is going to make it a lot easier to see your stitches and to see what we call the flip taking place. And I'll explain the flip when we start learning how to make our stitches in the next video. So this one is a size 20 and a size 40. The higher this number, the finer your thread is going to be. And the size of the thread will determine the size of your finished project. I have these two little motifs to show you. Even though they're the same pattern, this one was worked in a size 5 and this one is a size 20. You can see there's a significant difference between the two. When we're purchasing threads for our projects, we also need to keep an eye on our colour number or your lot number. If you need three or four balls of this thread, the lot number or the colour number needs to be the same on each ball. This means all the balls are in the same dye bath and that means you won't get any colour or shade variances throughout your project. Next is our crochet hook. If you are going to use a crochet hook, a size one or a two, a good size is to use for tatting. Pico gauges are a tool that not everybody uses. So they are used to keep the size of your picots consistent. You can buy them. You can also make your own. So I've just used an embroidery card, it's plastic, and I just cut out the size that I want it to be. They work quite well. You can use credit cards, you can also use stiff cardboard. It's personal preference. And that's about it for our supplies.